My friends, in recognition of the investment by our past presidents, the 75th Anniversary Committee has chosen to honor our past presidents by asking each one of them to once again occupy the presidential seat on the Bima on a Shabbat. And each week, our past president honoree will not only share the announcements, but also share an anecdotal reflection from his or her experience as a past president. This week, we are pleased to be able to honor Lauren Fike, who served as president in 2002 and 2003, and in his time as president, brought all of his passion, all of his skill, all of his caring, his knowledge of the Dot Ariel and the broader Jewish community, um, and because Lauren has tremendous involvement in a number of organizations with the Jewish community, brought that all to bear, and we were the beneficiaries of all of those skills and all of those qualities. Pleasure to be able to share the beam with him this morning. Thank you, Rabbi. Yeah, no, if only one of those skills had been public speaking. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it announcements? Yeah, okay. So, uh, Shabbat Shalom to all of you. It's great to see you all here this morning, and I want to thank you for joining us here at our spiritual home of the Dot Ariel. I'd like to thank those who participated in our services this morning, our Darshan and my mentor and predecessor, Manny Kaplan. And, uh, uh, Gabayim, Saul Halpern, and Manny Aftergood, to uh, Torah readers, Alex, Gabby, and Jeff Kaplan, Les Eber, and Chelsea Rappaport. Uh, Haft Torah was read by Alex Kaplan. The uh, Ashray was uh, uh, read by Jessica Kaplan. The uh, Aliyah coordinator this morning was, <coughs> excuse me, Eitan Wallace. The, uh, uh, our usher this morning was Gary Spivak, uh, and uh, our uh, current president, Bennett Spiegel, was uh, uh, helping out there as well. And uh, our greeters this morning were Isla Gabay and Melissa Sohn. On behalf of the entire Adad Ariel community, I'd like to wish Gabby and Jeff Kaplan and the entire Kaplan family Mazal Tov on uh, Alex's uh, bat mitzvah this morning. He did a wonderful job. On behalf of the congregation, I uh, want to thank them also for hosting the uh, Kiddush Luncheon today, which will be held in the Jacoby Social Hall. Please shop in the Sisterhood's gift gallery. The proceeds from all sales support our synagogue and its programs, as well as Israel, through the sale of products imported, imported from Israel. In keeping with the spirit of Shabbat, we ask that you not use your cell phones or cameras while on synagogue grounds. As you leave the sanctuary, please, sure to, uh, please be sure to pick up a copy of our weekly Shabbat Shalom booklet for news of our upcoming events and the times for our daily minion. If you're a guest or visitor and would like to know more about our home here at Adarayo or to be introduced to some of our member families, please feel free to speak with any of our rabbis or cantors after the services. Next week, our past president honoree will be Harold Mazur, who served from uh, 2004 through 2006. We welcome him back to the BIMA next week. Uh, and uh, again, I'd like to uh, uh, welcome uh, Congressman Brad Sherman uh, to our service this morning. It's an honor to have you here, Congressman. Shabbat Shalom. Uh, and, and now it's uh, my turn to uh, share a, uh, a uh, witty, anecdote or experience that occurred to me uh, while I was president uh, here at Adad Ariel. Um, the first thing that occurred to me um, when I, I found out that I was going to be uh, uh, presiding over services this morning was that uh, I, I thought that it was particularly appropriate in my own personal case um, that uh, the, uh, I, I assume coincidentally, uh, uh, the congregational leadership would have chosen uh, Shalach Lecha where we read Torah uh, Achad, or Itchem. So um, I won't go into that anymore, but uh, for those of you who are on the inside, you'll understand why I thought that was particularly poignant this morning. Uh, every synagogue president has the privilege and opportunity to learn from those who've served before him. I had the joy and pleasure of learning about a daughter of our community and a lot about life from Reuben Lazar and Leo DeZora to Blessed Memory. Julie Schlesinger, Ernie Goodman, Stan Weiner, Herb Weisberg, Manny Kaplan, Myra and Bruce Newman, Irv Goldring, Rand Harris, Jill Lasker, and my immediate predecessor, Phil Metzen, among many other friends and mentors during the period leading up to my presidency. Uh, I also uh, benefited from the uh, wise counsel and sage advice of my wife uh, uh, and partner of 38 years, Linda, who uh, uh, certainly uh, was a huge help uh, throughout the course of my presidency. Um, I, I, one of the things that I've never been particularly terrific about, uh, uh, but which I uh, uh, attempted to uh, follow in the footsteps of my predecessors, uh, was in uh, telling a joke from the Bema. 
Uh, and, and this joke, uh, which illustrates the delicacy of some of the issues you have to deal with as, as synagogue president, uh, I think uh, I first heard from Bill Metzen. Uh, the responsibilities of a synagogue president uh, include visiting the sick, Bikur Cholim, and presiding over the machinations of the synagogue board. Sometimes those responsibilities converge, like the time that the synagogue president was sent as a shaliach to visit his congregation's rabbi in the hospital who had just suffer, suffered a mild heart attack. The synagogue president was delighted to inform him that the board had just voted 12 to 8 to wish the rabbi a full and speedy recovery. <laughs> Serving, <laughs> I actually got a reaction. <laughs> Shocking. Uh, Serving as chairman of the board and first vice president under Phil Metzen from 2000 to 2002 and then as president from 2002 to 2004, there are a huge number of things that come to mind uh, in, in terms of anecdotes and experiences that uh, I might have uh, shared this morning, including initiating one Shabbat morning with Craig Taubman and Rabbi Rothblum, our response to the 9-11 attacks uh, shortly before I became president, uh, bringing in Judy Dubin Aronoff to serve alongside uh, Cantor Beagleisen uh, presiding over services, uh, the strategic planning process for which we received national recognition, and a variety of other experiences, particularly in the areas of human resources and financial reporting, which I won't bore you all with uh, uh, this afternoon, since it already is this afternoon. Um, however, the experience that remains most poignant to me from the years of my presidency revolves around the succession process that we initiated during my presidency to prepare for Rabbi Rothblum's eventual retirement and for Rabbi Bernhardt's elevation to senior rabbi. Rabbi Rothblum and Lois and Linda and I have been friends dating back to not long after Linda and I showed up for Purim services at Adad Ariel in early 1981 with our year and a half old Israeli born son Yoni in our arms. Our younger son Ari wouldn't arrive for another couple of years. Just to put this all in perspective, Yoni now has three kids of his own and serves as the treasurer at Ikar. You'd think he'd have learned from his parents about taking on leadership roles at the synagogue, but go figure. We fell in love with the daughter Ariel that day yeah, uh, and with this crazy uh, zany rabbi yeah, with his corny Irish brogue waving green and red flags in front of an overflow crowd filled with young families and presiding over the chaos with a funny stream of jokes and good humor. When I became president, we knew that Rabbi Rothblum would have one more year after the end of my presidency until the end of his then current contract. But Rabbi Rothblum had suggested to me that if possible, he would like to work one additional year prior to retiring. As we both knew, there was a concern among some of the past presidents, based on experiences with other rabbis, that a rabbi only really retires when he's carried kicking and screaming out of his office. Any attempt to extend Rabbi Rothblum's contract had the potential to unleash those concerns, so I suggested that we package a contract extension with putting together a succession plan as a way to end run any opposition, and Rabbi Rothblum enthusiastically agreed. During my presidency, Linda and I had hosted a meeting of the past presidents about every six months just to keep them informed about developments at the shul and to pick their brains for advice regarding synagogue business. We decided that we should test the idea with the past presidents at a breakfast meeting in our dining room a couple of weeks later. I was a nervous wreck as the past presidents arrived that morning worrying about how they would react to the proposal. But after a great deal of questioning and probing the concept, the past presidents endorsed the ideas I had hoped and we were able to move forward. Rabbi Rothblum got his additional year and the transition process leading up to Rabbi Rothblum's retirement in 2006 and the beautiful tributes that occurred during the Biad Moshe festivities that year provided a dignified culmination to a brilliant and somewhat unique career for a rabbi who was able to spend his entire professional career at a single synagogue. Finally, in closing, I wanted to thank synagogue leadership for giving all of us all Takakas the uh, opportunity to share some of our experiences with you as we celebrated Dot Ariel's 75th year serving our community May a daughter Ariel continue to go from strength to strength. Chazak, chazak, panit, chazak. Thank you. Amen. Shabbat shalom.